and welcome back to my channel it is your girl april newly me and here are the meals of the week we're gonna start off with the bonus clip i know this is about seafood but this was my homemade beef and broccoli that i made for my patreon members just wanted to give you guys a little tease um the link will be below if you want to join moving into this all these seafood boil now y'all know i love seafood me and tony eat it a lot this was the first time i'd ever seen a seafood boil um i wanted to doctor it up y'all know i love seasoning so this is the seasoning that i used i did not use a seasoning pack that came along with it i also used frozen broth i save all my broth that i don't use i freeze it i use broth instead of water whenever i can so this is me just opening up the bags i really didn't know what to expect because again i had never seen you know boil in a bag basically i boiled everything together that's the broth and all the seasoning i showed you what was in the bag but i always want to kick it up a notch so i did chop a lot of garlic like a lot of garlic Set my word on fire. It was a lot, y'all. You do not have to do this. I'm just extra. I like my food to taste really good. I also used a whole stick of butter. We didn't use all of this, but I like to have the sauce for dipping on also to pour on top. Again, I didn't use all of this, but I always like to have a spare. This is the seafood boil in the actual pot. It said to dump everything. I'll explain later how I feel about that. But then I put the rest of the seasoning that I had on top and then just let it boil. Um, if you are new here, my name is April Newly Me. I do a lot of food content, grocery hauls. I'm getting into vlogging. I'm not really good at vlogging, but I'm getting into it. That was a seasoning pack that I did not use that came with the Aldi's. And then these are the crablets that I added. And here was the end result. It looks really good. Me and Tony didn't care for it that much. It was a little too salty. Um, we probably won't be getting this again, but here it is. I also didn't like the sausage and cooking everything all together in one pot made the mashed potatoes really, really mushy. Okay, now we're going to get into this creamy Cajun pasta. So we have the Parmesan, two kind of bell peppers, onion, parsley, Miss Dash, red uh, crushed seasoning, Obey, all these spices, and this whipping cream as well as minced garlic. This whipping cream is everything, y'all, from Trader Joe's. Perfect amount of whipping cream. So I always season my water with oil and salt. You see me doing it there in a big pot. You always want to use an oversized pot because you want your noodles to be able to float and breathe and not clump together. And here I am just chopping up all the veggies. Again, I used a yellow red, yellow and red bell pepper, who I can't talk, as well as a sweet onion. I always have bell peppers in my house, no matter what the occasion, what the day, whenever I shop, I always have to get bell peppers and onions. If you like food related content, I would love for you to hit that subscribe button and become one of our YouTube besties. We're a really tight knit group and I try to give you food related content at least once a month. Here I am using my new pots, y'all. I love these pots. They're copper plated pots. But anyway, here's my new pots and I'm just going to go ahead and saute all of the veggies all together in a little bit of avocado oil is what I use and I always salt my vegetables that's the only time you'll ever hear me use heavy salt I leave those alone these are the shrimp that I use they're already washed and they're drying on a paper towel you want to get them as dry as you possibly can then add those to the veggies I always do the veggies first then the shrimp because shrimp do not take a long time to cook you don't want to cook your shrimp for a long time so be like rubber and here I am adding all of my seasoning if you are new here I am very heavy-handed with my seasoning I am Cajun and Creole so we like our seasoning. There's no need to 
give everything a really good stir keep it moving then I like to go ahead and add my garlic a heck of a lot of garlic um, I didn't chop today I used my minced garlic just to be lazy and then you see me going ahead and adding the cream now this was a perfect amount for me and Tony because I wanted to make a big pot of pasta if you're cooking for yourself or you just wanted to um, have the pasta last for one night. I would suggest using half of what I used in the future I'll probably use half of what I use and then use a little bit of chicken broth just to make it a little bit not so fattening um, And then you see me add fresh cracked black pepper and red chili flakes Then I went ahead and added that goodness uh, mixed it all together and then it will create a little bit of a thicker sauce and then you just add it onto the pasta which you see me doing here and when you guys cook pasta leave a little bit of that starchy water um, that it boils with it helps thicken up whatever sauce that you are going to put on it now the pot is on the lowest of uh, boils just because I want all of the pasta and the sauce and the shrimp to marry and you know if you keep it on the burner you'll get more of a better effect and here is the pasta. Tony really enjoyed it and so did I. I had mine with a side Caesar salad and it was really fulfilling. Okay, we're gonna get into our last meal which is baked and fried fish with veggies and rice. I know you're like, how is it baked and fried? I fried my fish and then I baked my spouse's. She is a really big fan of tilapia. I cannot stand tilapia, it's boring as heck. Um, just to see, tell you what you see on the screen, it's me with the sheet pan covered in foil and I'm just spraying it with a little olive oil spray. But again, I hate tilapia so this is one of those meals where I cook two proteins. Tony gets tilapia, I usually get salmon which is my second favorite fish. And here you see me dropping the tilapia down. It's really important if you cook a white fish like tilapia that you season it to the gods because again, it is boring it has no taste on its own so you very much need to season it sometimes what I normally do what I didn't do on this video is I'll get all the seasoning that I'm going to use and I'll mix it up in a bowl together and that way I'm just sprinkling on top this recipe is not really a recipe, it's something I kind of just threw together so I really didn't have a plan. I just know what I wanted the fish to taste like if that made sense. So that's why you see me kind of putting them on one by one because I really didn't know until I was seasoning the fish what I wanted to season it with. have to make the season stick I use a little bit of oil you can use olive oil I love avocado oil if you haven't noticed and it's really important that you rub in the seasoning that you just put on your protein otherwise it's just going to fall off and sometimes the oil will help it from burning So I'm just doing the exact same process on my pieces of salmon. I only had to do it on the top portion because this salmon did have the skin on the other side. I like salmon either way. I don't eat the skin. I know some people do. I just, you know, if you cook salmon the right way, the skin comes right off. It's not, you know, that big of a deal to me. Um, but if you did, if you do buy salmon that has a skin on and you want to take it off, just boil some water and then run that hot water over the side of the skin, the salmon will peel right up. And here 
I am again cutting my favorites, which are bell peppers, red and yellow. They were on sale, y'all, at uh, Kroger. Get into sales when it comes to bell peppers. I have no idea why, but sometimes bell peppers can be like $3 in California. Again, do not ask me why. Um, but the last time I went to Kroger, aka Ralph's, they were two for four dollars no i'm sorry three for four dollars so i definitely got a couple um of bell peppers because again i cook bell peppers with everything probably asking yourself sis this doesn't go with fried fish or baked chicken I'm sorry or baked fish and sis it does I like sauteed and roasted vegetables I think those are the best two ways to have them and I just like sometimes to saute bell pepper onions um, you'll see me use a little bit of spinach but this is a quick easy healthy side sometimes we overthink dinner and meals and the simplest way to prepare certain stuff is usually the best tasting. So when it comes to my vegetables, I am super simple. I love to roast them or saute them. y'all this came out so good you'll see me in the back heating up some shrimp for tony they were already cooked and yes i'm heating them up in a skillet really quick she does not like cold shrimp so that's why i'm doing that but here are the saute vegetables we're just a little bit of salt and pepper to sweat them out and then here's the handful of spinach with a little bit more seasoning and i just plop the top of the pot back on there to steam and then once they came out they just uh, smelled so good so I added a little bit of garlic to kick it up a notch and here is Tony's plate with her boring tilapia but I made it good and here is my plate and the star of the show honestly were these vegetables y'all they were so good thank you so much for joining me and go ahead and hit that subscription button give this video a big likes if you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time guys bye